Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Now, up next, we check out some street art as we head down to the growing arts district in Mar Vista, California. And leading the artistic charge is a Fort Lauderdale, Florida transplant named DJ Neff. His street side murals are literally changing the landscape of the sleepy corner of LA, and he's doing it with a barrage of colors, angles, and iconic imagery that sets him apart as one of today's top muralists to watch. And you can check him out right here on Latin Nation. Sessions is presented by McDonald's. Hi, uh, my name is DJ Neff. I'm an artist in Mar Vista, spray paint, graffiti, uh, designer. I'm, I've been in this community, Mar Vista, about six years. I've been in Venice for a little over a decade. And I think what's been most important in what I can do as an artist is start to beautify my neighborhood. Um, and in doing so, I think there's, there's a lot of opportunities out there that are not just for myself, but for others that are artists. And, you know, as of in the last year or two, I've started to see more and more opportunities where, say, graffiti has ended up on a business or something like that, you know, and I'll approach the business to, to do something better over it. And typically that's a good situation. Um, and then in the same sense, I've had uh, different ways that I've sponsored other artists to come and do art on walls in the same manner uh, to basically just continue to beautify the neighborhood and um, make Mar Vista a little bit more unique in a, in a destination of part of Los Angeles. I started painting in 1996, seven, doing just bombing and, you know, and I was in some crews and painted trains. I did all that. and. That's basically what I, that, that and then design, which ended up becoming advertising, which ended up becoming commercial work for whatever reason. Um, I guess at the end of the day, like I never shied away from color. I always loved color. Sometimes I like to see how many colors I could fit in a painting, but um, at the same time, I really like black and white work. I just don't necessarily do it myself. I'll do it in pen or I'll do other things like that. But the training practice, I mean, I've been spray painting now probably 16, 17 years. He will take like dip very, very like hyper realistic colors and like kind of place them in places on the animals that you normally wouldn't see somebody do. So his textures kind of have their own form and it's definitely if you see a couple of his pieces like there are on the street, you can you can pick him out on on your own and like he does the thing with the animals that's just, it's really beautiful. I really love his art. For me, it, it really just comes down to what feels right at the time. Um, but when I look back to the things I used to produce and make, like whatever my graffiti style was, it was always pretty loose, abstract, you know, very colorful but weird, you know, fun to paint. But I was never trying so hard to do something. Like, I never really wanted to render a face like, like realistic. It, even with the animals that I do, I skew them. You know, I make them, like the chameleon I did is super elongated. It's not normal proportions because I find the, the joy is, is in the abstract or it's, it's in the change. You know, I think photography is photography, but painting, you can do so many more things. Mm -hmm. 